guys and welcome back oh my god I missed you so much some of you might notice that I haven't been uploading for around eight days which doesn't sound all that bad but to me it's so strange and crazy not to upload and film a video because as some of you might know last year I uploaded five videos a week and that was a lot of work as you can imagine but I enjoy filming perfume videos but I decided to start this year a bit slower and I announced changes in my live stream about my schedule so in 2020 I will release a video every second day which in my opinion is still right you'll get amazing content but not every day every second day and we shall see how that works out so with that being said yesterday so with that being said here's a little update yesterday i arrived back so with that being said here's a little update yesterday i came back home from my vacation which was quite a stressful vacation and i'm so happy to be back in germany back home back in front of my camera filming for you guys oh my god i missed this whole youtube uh, thing and this video is going to be first impressions on perfumes that I saw on my table yesterday and these are PK perfumes from Paul Kyler, not Killer as I called him in one of my videos. By the way, feel free to correct my pronunciation in the comment section because I can assure you that in today's video I will mispronounce a lot of uh, perfumes names but uh, here's a little story Paul Kyler is an independent American perfumer and he creates fine fragrances and I own only one of his perfumes in a full-size bottle that is this one Madeira de Orient Oscuro that he generously gifted me in Amsterdam where we were at Art Nouveau Faction Awards together and we both won so this is an award-winning perfume and this is a very special one i will tell you much more about it a bit later but he reached out to me and generously sent me a whole sample pack of his perfumes and in here we have so many fragrances and I really like his presentation it's sleek it's beautiful it's simple but at the same time it feels good you know to touch it to look at it and let's find out how many perfumes I will try today for the first time on the skin on the paper uh, and even maybe on my clothes if I like some of these so in here we have oh my god he literally sent me probably everything so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve um 13 14 15 16 16 perfumes or so and uh, i should better get started because i don't want this video to be too long but um, i'm sure it's gonna be pretty long so better grab yourself a snack and um, if you have any experience with paul kyler perfumes please share it with all of us in the commentary section link to his official website is down below in the description box as uh, well as more helpful information feel free to check it out and with that being said you guys get ready for spontaneous first impressions on american indie perfumes by paul kyler so the first one that i'm going into is uh, heaven fresh so heaven fresh is a lovely name mm, and this is who very fresh <laughs> Scent that reminds me of masculine aftershave of my boyfriend's father, of um, elder man, of something very classy, something steamy. It smells like steam. Of like, it smells like water. It smells like clean day outside. Quite nice. I wouldn't wear this perfume, but I think a lot of people and I think men who love fresh perfumes would enjoy it. Right now I'm looking at the official website and I really want to read the notes of the perfumes and stuff like that because I'm not very familiar with them. 
except uh, the one that I have already mentioned previously, but we'll come to it. So Heaven Fresh is perfume with a notes right on like that long. In here we have fresh green herbs, absent, shiso, juniper berry, sage, clary sage, clover, watery notes, water lilies, freesia, rose, geranium, fresh flowers of orange blossom, lemon and orange itself, green and soothing woody notes, rosewood, mahogany, cedar, applewood, sandalwood, neroli. Oh, clover, so many notes. But to me, it smells of steam, it smells of maybe spa, it smells of sauna, it smells manly too. Not my jam, but I appreciate it, it's well done. And with that being said, we are moving on to the next one, which is called Gold Leather. I'm not the biggest fan of leather perfumes right away, so like I wanted to mention it right in the beginning. I don't have high hopes for this one, but we shall see. Okay, this is a gourmand leather with a very outstanding fruity nuance. Smells rather of dry fruits. Smells of definitely something medicinal leathery. If you know leather can be just a bit um, medicinal, that's the best way I can describe it. Mm, I wouldn't say that this is leather that I would reach out for. I think it is for lovers of uh, that uh, quite burning and um, whoo, very strong leather. So yeah, the fruity nuance makes it interesting, but it's not really like, wow, leather, that's gonna be my thing. So in here we have flowers such as geranium. So in here we have flowers such as gardenia, ylang, tuberose, honeysuckle, lily, jasmine, janet, and canaga. Don't know what that is. Do you know? We have woody notes, we have herbal notes, we have uh, some animalic notes, so we have fruity nuances. Oh, this is like medicinal but fruity leather. Quite interesting, contrasting, once again, not really my thing. But the next one I hope is going to be my thing because this is literally one of a few that I would even blind buy because it is about violets and chocolate. It is violet chocolatery and you better be good because like I imagine it to be heaven. Okay, this is chocolate first of all and chocolate is heaven to some people. This is powdery, violety chocolate and like those are things that I love and I love this for a few. Like this is love right away. It's powdery, very powdery. I love perfumes being powdery. It's very chic. It's very... Mm, how should I call it? Maybe even French, but like in a playful French way. It's not like a serious French perfume that's quite cool and quite like, hmm, you know, like it's very, very chic and stylish and floral and classy. And oh my god, I really enjoy it. Now the chocolate goes um, on the background and the violet appears. It's intoxicating, it's so bold, it's so good. Like, I need this in a full size because this is my love. I love violets and chocolate is always welcome in my life. So, this is like hazelnutty, violety, even floral chocolate notes. Like, we have so much in here. We have apricots and cacao absolute, nutmeg, hazelnut, violet, magnolia, jasmine, rose, honey, gardenia, amber, benzoin, oh, and much more. But to me, it is definitely out of violets, fruits, and chocolate. And this is so delicious, you guys. Definitely a favorite of mine so far. And the next one is another leather. This time it is modern leather called Cui Modern. And let's find out how modern... It really smells. Okay, this is more of a leather type that I would personally wear. It's definitely more wearable to me than the previous um, gold leather, if I'm not wrong. I want to find out the notes in this one because it, 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 it is definitely interesting. So in here we have apricot brandy. Apricot is kind of like Paul's thing, I have a feeling. And Paul is like a real, like, I have a feeling that he creates very well-rounded and full-bodied perfumes that are really intense because everything that I have tried so far is like real deal. 
in here we also have fresh asmantus flowers i smell asmantus like with powdery and that like leathery nuance maybe like that's why it is so modern it is also about orange blossom, jasmine, patchouli, tobacco, spices, woods, wood, um, amber, raspberry, and of course leather. So this is like effortless leather that is modern, that is wearable on the everyday basis. I could rock it, but like on going out occasions, not necessarily to work or something. Or maybe, who knows, I need to revisit all of these that I am smelling right now because these are obviously first impressions. And the next one is going to be on the Starry Starry Night. And I really like the name and I really have high hopes for this one. No idea how it will smell. Okay, this smells good, but like very abstract. No idea what exactly is it about. But I, I, I have smelled something similar to it. Like... I hate when people say that, by the way, like when I give somebody like a unique perfume for my collection, somebody like, oh, I have smelled that some, somewhere and I'm like, no, you haven't, believe me, but this reminds me maybe of some note or something, not necessarily a perfume, so let me check the notes because right now I, I can't really tell you, oh, that smells of that, that and that, or maybe I will in the future on the next ones, but this is like cool, maybe like jasmine, okay, like because it's like, it's very, it's floral and it's bewitching, but at the same time there is something in there that I can't define, so it's like heavens above of wind and breath, smoke and love. Okay, notes. Orange blossom, absolute. Maybe that's what I smell, not jasmine, but we shall see. if We have some jasmine in here. We have ylang, cucumber, love bud, we have pettigrain, frankincense, smoked pine, wood, cypress, absolute and leaves, green myrtle, cardamom, olibanum, sandalwood from um, Australia and Missourian sandalwood, tree moss and choya, loban, but no jasmine. Okay. Okay, this perfume smells um, for advanced perfume lovers, as I <laughs> call them, because like this is not um, a mainstream perfume at all. It smells very special, one of a kind with uh, almost like burning tea-like quality to um, that orange blossom that's so vivid to me. That's for, I really enjoy Starry Starry Night. I think it's um, a very interesting perfume that I will spray right here because I really like it and I want to smell it on my skin. And the next one is cherries. Cherries, cherries, cherries. What could it be about? Let's find out. Oh, my kind of thing, my kind of thing. I'm dancing like Monica from Friends. I don't know what it is about, but I really know the thing. It's like um, sugary, delicious, maybe rose, maybe something else. But I really, really, really enjoy the scent. What is it? Is it rose? Tell me, guys. Oh my god, it smells so familiar. Like, I, I know this type of a scent. I really, really know it. What is it? Oh my god, it's so good. I tried to find it on the official website and I can't. Oh, that pisses me off that I can't find it because it's like so familiar. Anyway, that's probably the mystery of a scent. Oh, it's like, if I need to describe you, it's like something that you can't resist. Like, Picture your guilty pleasure, that's exactly how it smells. It smells sweet, it smells very, very appealing, it smells a little bit sugary, but at the same time so, like, calm to me. Ah, oh, wow, so good, like, so good, like, so freaking good. Ah, oh, love this one, definitely a favorite of mine, so powdery. Oh, maybe like violety, maybe rosy. I don't know. I don't even want to think about the notes because I really love it and don't want to be even bothered by the notes. So, the next one. Actually, why this whole conversation started with Paul, I mentioned red perfumes and he commented on my Facebook post that I haven't smelled his red leather. I was just like... Uh, I need to try it out and he sent me his whole sample pack that's why I'm reviewing like doing first impressions on all of these because a lot of you 
requested first impressions on the skin, on the paper, and I find that these videos are very spontaneous and they don't give you the proper review. These are just my first impressions. Obviously, I need to give Obviously, I need to give all these perfumes a proper wear outside on different days, just like to build an impression on them, like a full impression in terms of longevity, projection, and just like how they develop. And I can tell you these are complex perfumes that I can imagine will develop on the skin. So I am excited to check all of them out. And normally I would give all of them enough time. So I normally like to try one perfume a day or two and wear them, but now I'm like testing all 15 or how many did I get? And red leather is the next one. Okay, this is fiery, this is burning, this is fruity, this is juicy, this is not very leathery, which I like. Let me find out the notes and tell you, oh, is it rose? What is it? It's so good. Okay, this is definitely my favorite leather from him. He has gold leather, modern leather, and red leather, and red leather is my winner. So, in here we have butcher leaves, rhubarb. <gasps> I smell rhubarb. That's that tart and sparkling element in here. I need to spray it on my hair so it will last till tomorrow's morning, and at work I will get this like beautiful whiffs of leather. So we have pink pepper, I smell that. Pink grapefruit, smell that. Pink carnation, not sure, not yet. Red rose, for sure. Ylang, neroli, Devena spices, bay rum, rum, patchouli, teak wood, blood cedar wood, woods, musk, amber, suede, castorium, civet, and leather. Wow, this is full-on beautiful red fiery, voluptuous, sexy, provoking leather. My type of a scent. Definitely a favorite of mine, just as Starry Starry Night and the violet one is. And the next one is Zafran, which reminds me because of the name of Zephyr. Zephyr is sort of like a sweet and I used to eat it in my childhood. It's very, very sweet. So I expect this one to be a sugar bomb or something. which it is not. <laughs> okay, this is actually very clean, very fresh. That's sort of like a disappointing moment for me, but it smells nice and spicy, but very fresh. It's not like a warm, spicy oriental perfume. It's rather like a balmy, spicy type of a scent, if you know what I'm talking about. It's actually a bit retro, in my opinion, too. Let me find out the notes. So, Paul says that Zafran is the word for ah Zafran in either Arab or Indian languages. Okay, so this is about Zafran. Okay, that makes sense. It's definitely spicy. We have cinnamon in here, lime, lavender. I smell lavender, but also something, something like piney or resinous or something. Maybe that's patchouli or amber tobacco or vetiver or musk in there. Don't know. Like this is definitely a masculine perfume. I wouldn't really love to wear it myself, but you know, that's all right. Next one is Carissa. Carissa. Surely I mispronounce your name, but I hope you forgive me for that. Because I love you. I'm not sure if I will love it tomorrow, but right now, at this moment of my life, this is definitely a beautiful floral perfume. Rosy, but fresh. Not innocent, though. It's not like the young rose blooming in your garden. It's rather a rose bouquet that is in a beautiful posh vase in your living room that really blooms and fills in the room with its gorgeous scent. It has so much to it. It's definitely about the rose and quite a nice rose. There are many interpretations of rosy scents. And this one is definitely something quite, quite, quite rich and uh, something that I think can be worn on the everyday basis, but also so appropriate for going out because like I smell it and I'm like, oh, wow, you know, it's like full bodied, full on, mm, sensual, rosy experience. Love it. Definitely a love for me so far. Like very, very cool. Oh, so cool. 
I'm excited to try it out in the end. But I'm also excited about the next perfume because I guessed it's about coffee. It is called Café DM or something. And coffee in the fragrance is actually very appealing to me. Do you like coffee perfumes? Oh, okay. This is not... Oh, I can't... Oh, no. <laughs> For me, I have a feeling it's like hit or miss with Paul's perfumes. For example, that... Um, ka 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 sis or what carissa is definitely a love like you could tell i smelled it and i was just like oh my god yes this is oh my god no this is strangely bitter and gives me throat um ache or something scratch oh no this is like what is it it's perfume that doesn't work for me but why i want to know the notes where are the notes asking you Coffee, coffee, coffee. Why can't I find you? Let me check the notes, guys, because there is something about this perfume that puts me off about it, and I can't really tell you what that is. Well, oh, I found it. Wait, 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 wait. I found it. So, oh, I think it is... Maybe it's absent, right? I see absent in the nose and it overtakes the whole scent and I hate perfumes with absent. Um, so yes, that's definitely no. We all have our notes that don't work for us. Let me know if you love absent, but I definitely don't like it and don't get me wrong, it's not a bad perfume, just definitely doesn't work for me. And with that being said, next one is Tropicalismo. Will you be tropical? We shall see how tropical you really are. Oh, guys, this is watermelon in the perfume. I haven't smelled a lot of watermelon fragrances in my life, and that is definitely very watermelony. And I was in Egypt, celebrated New Year there. By the way, Happy New Year! <laughs> I even shot a video there and uploaded it. Um, internet was so... like, we had no internet there, no connection. So I needed to fly back to Germany and upload it like a few days ago. You can check it out. But the only thing that I could drink there was watermelon juice and that is exactly how it smells. So yes, you smell tropical for sure. Oh, it smells of Egypt to me now. But also like of cucumbers and really crushed leaves so atmospheric, definitely summer in a bottle, very optimistic scent, bright, fun, happy, positive, great one. Wow, so good. Like, I have a feeling Paul creates sweet and floral and fruity perfumes the best out of all I smelled. I definitely gravitate towards those ones, but I have high hopes for Era because I like this name. Okay, the scent is okay, not like, wow, not yet. It's definitely a fresh one. Like, I don't know why, but none of his very fresh perfumes stood out to me that much. This is something airy, plenty, rooty, uh, smells of a light forest in the morning, very peaceful scent. But once again, like, I'm not the biggest fan of such type of scents. Maybe that's why I'm not the biggest fan of those, but... Whatever. Now, the time has come. Thanks for staying, by the way, till this moment for his award-winning perfume, one of the newest ones, Madeira's de Orient Oscuro. This, my friends, is uh, fairly awarded because it's so unique, so one-of-a-kind. It might be too strange for some people and let me tell you, this is the only one fragrance that I have from Paul in a full-size bottle and the only one that I have smelled like till this video. And one tiny spritz goes such a long way because this is in a beast mode and I can imagine some of his other perfumes are also beastly. It lasts and projects and you will smell it all day, the next day, maybe even next week. This perfume is very strong and very, very artistic. And art is very subjective, just as fragrance is. And... Um, this is about cherry smoke, and I'm not kidding. It's sweet smoke in a bottle. So, like, 
dreamy, very dreamy. So if there are some lovers of smoky scents among you, you should definitely risk and get a bottle. Notes are crazy, earth, caramel, sugar, cherry, tobacco, woods, mushrooms, honey. You can get it all in this perfume and it will last forever. And with that being said, I have three more tiny vials to share with you. TNT, I'm dynamite, TNT. Do you know that song? Because ACDC really rocked my world when I was 13 or so. I remember vividly listening to them, finding my father's CD and my world was rocked. And TNT is a perfume that I'm excited to try. But I hate these tiny vials. Don't send me vials. I love to spray my perfumes and with vials I can't even test them properly. So, oh! <laughs> I really put my nose right into the perfume while it was wet. Okay, this is definitely plasticky, very, very bold, exciting, as you can tell how much I apply, tuberose. And I love tuberose in any form, shape, type, color. And this is a very artistic tuberose. And, uh, Paul says that it is a fresh tuberose flower, half space olive floor with a bit of musk ambergris to make it last. Well, I can leave it as that, but like this is not a simple tuberose. It's very, very strong. That's all I can tell you. Next one is dirty rose, and oh my god, like dirty rose. Come on, like it should be very, very good. And his floral perfumes are excellent. So, dirty rose. Come to me, my baby. I will test you. Okay, this is a rather... I don't know how to call it. My god, like, look at the marks that I have trying to close these vials. Hate them. Hate them. Ah, oh, wow, I'm in pain. This rose is not that dirty. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Ah, that's a painful rose to me. I wish I could spray it because I ha I can imagine I would enjoy it, but I can't tell you more. It's not too dirty. It's rather um, a very dark rose. And the next one is ginger test the citron. I love citrusy ginger. Love ginger scent like in the real life in general. So that's the last one that I will test. Oh, and this is like peppery, spicy, even nutty and maybe sweet, but that, like, don't get me wrong, citrusy ginger. Very, very good, very good, not bad. Like one of the a few fresh perfumes from him that I liked, but now the time has come to smell all of these once again, real fast. And I will start with Heaven Fresh, which I tested first. Still a steamy spine bottle, not my thing, very masculine, plenty scent. Ah, gold leather is soothing, round, seamless, but velvet chocolate, come on, like this violet in there, ooh, very, very good, like my favorite, maybe number one. Modern, modern leather is still fruity, apricoty, quite nice. Starry night, oh my god, like this dirty jasmine, orange blossom, whatever that is, it's bloody gorgeous. Second favorite of mine. Next one, cherries. Oh, cherries, oh my god, like, oh, what is that? Like, mm, I know that. I, I really hope, like, this is my second, like, third favorite, but like, if I need to rank them, it comes up right the violet one. Love that, love that. And so I do love red leather, my fourth favorite oh love that stuff oh i know that i won't love no zafran mm -mm. no 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 cut it out no coffee no no oh that come on like that upset it kills me like if you want a killer upset that's it tropical scent come on fifth favorite beautifully done gorgeous but i also need to mention tnt because I really enjoyed that one. Oh, I actually missed one, Velvet Caracal. Let's find out how this one smells. Hmm. Mm, it's like 
very abstract, fresh and uh, blooming at once. Yeah, it smells of fresh bloom. Not bad. Quite interesting. I find like I should definitely give these perfumes more time because they are very complex, but you wanted first impressions. I hope this video wasn't too long, even though I know it's very long, but come on, like I tested a lot of perfumes and I had fun. And if you did too, please like this video. And if you want to see more first impressions, comment that down below and uh, let us know if you have any experience with Paul Kyler's fragrances. And if so, what do you think about them? Which ones are your favorites? And if not, are you excited or inspired to check them out? If you are in America, you should definitely give these ones a try because they are unique, they are very special and I have a lot of favorites which I really want to get now. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I wish you an amazing day. Happy New Year once again. Comment down below your request because I listen to you. And if you haven't subscribed already, please feel free to do so. Ring that bell and uh, stay tuned. Smell good. We'll see each other in the next one. Bye, guys.